During this past Eid, I was on my phone for 11 hours. I think that's like the entire day of Eid. Sure, there's the diddle Eid greetings, but other than that, it was just a distraction. It brought little joy. I don't want to squander my life in distraction, so my curious question today is, what are the dangers of distraction? What does Islam teach us? First, we all agree that most distractions are hurting us. For example, some parents are distracted by their devices as their children are trying to get their attention. Deep sleep that we're not getting because we're staring all night at those phones with zombie eyes. The unending anxiety brought by act now or miss out sales messages. Distracted driving can literally kill. Distraction in Arabic is lahu, lahu, diversion, amusement, distraction. If there was a huge billboard on this topic, I would put this verse. Competition and worldly increase distracts you. In this verse, Allah speaks about distraction and tells us a major cause for it. One Arabic word full of meaning. It means the competition to collect more and more than the other person. More followers on social media, more money in our bank accounts, more, more. The Quran often connects the word lahu, distraction, with another word, la'ib, amusement. Of course, there is time to take rest, have fun, and amuse ourselves. But we can't allow our lives to be only the pursuit of distraction and la'ib amusement. Distracting us from what? From death and building our home in the hereafter. <laughs> Until you visit the graveyards. So what to do? Let's start with three things. One, find amusement in something beneficial, like the Ahbash doing fight pattern dances in the masjid in front of the Prophet Try martial arts or book reading or exercise or so much more. Two, compete with others in good. Compete in Quran, in remembering Allah, in calling others to Allah, in giving charity and so much more. Three, take your time in Salah. Sometimes slowing down feels like you're doing something wrong, wasting time. But no, you are right where Allah wants you to be. This is Muhammad al-Sharif. My dua for you is to see you succeed at the highest level. Psst. And if you could do me a favor, tap the love button.